Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to make mulled wine, and this is perfect no matter what time of the year it is, especially if it's winter, or it's cold and damp out, or even if it's the holidays and you're having friends or family over, or hell, you just like mulled wine. Now, what is mulled wine? Simply put, it is spiced, heated wine that's cooked over a slow period of time to bring out the flavors of whatever spices you put in. Now, it doesn't get any more difficult than that, really. Most people actually do this on the stove. But you know what? Maybe you want this to be working while you're out and about, Christmas shopping, throwing snowball fights, playing a game of hockey, whatever. You know what? Use this, the old standby, the crock pot. The great thing that you use to make stews and chilies and one pot dishes but you can use it for your alcoholic cocktails, especially for your parties and your family gatherings. So you know what? Let's get into this. Now this is a simple eight ingredient recipe plus the, uh, the alcohols, right? So, and you may have many of these ingredients at home. You may not, but again, you can use what you have to enjoy these. Uh, the rest of this stuff, pick up from a bulk food store, your local grocery store, or you know, maybe get some off your friends, especially if you know they're coming over because, hey, why spend extra money? if you don't have to. Now this recipe comes to me from a friend of mine named Sam. Every year we go over just before Christmas, we have a Christmas gathering where all the friends sort of pop in. We have some meat, some cheese, some fantastic mulled wine. However, we haven't been able to do that for the last couple of years because of the present situation. But she did give me this recipe to be able to share with you. And I think it is one of the best mulled wine recipes I've ever come across. So without further ado, let's get into making this. Now what we are going to do is we're going to take start with our oranges and everything that I'm going to put into this crock pot here will be doubled because I'm using two bottles of wine. So if you want to make a smaller version of this, just cut every amount in half. So we're going to start by cutting up our orange into wheels. Next we're going to use two teaspoons of whole cloves, 15 grams of candied ginger, four star anises, two teaspoons of peppercorns whole, two teaspoons of cardamom pods, two cinnamon sticks, one half grated nutmeg, two ounces or 60 milliliters honey. Oh yeah, look at that, fantastic. Simple and easy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add our booze, our alcohol. Now. Mulled wine usually has an additive beside just the wine. In this case, I'm using some brandy and I'm using Mukao brandy. You could use a rum or a spiced rum, totally up to you depending on the type of flavors you wanna get. But I love having a little bit of brandy in mine. And for this, we're going to use a full eight ounces. Oh, 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 look at that. You can smell the brandy, it's fantastic. And again, use whatever you want. Use a cognac if you want. One of the things I will say about mulled wine is you don't need to use an expensive wine or expensive spirits because everything that you add to this actually changes the flavor so drastically, the original flavors are not what you recognize as a wine. Now I am using some um, hockey legend uh, uh, wine. Now this is a Merlot. This is a Canadian wine and we're going to use two bottles of this. Like I said, everything I've done here is doubled specifically for adding all this wine. This is gonna be so good. Now, what we're going to do is we are just going to turn this on to the first notch. Now, depending on how long you're gonna be out of the house, you can adjust this accordingly, but you want this to cook and heat for a good four hours. Slap your lid on here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and see how it tastes and how it looks. A few moments later. All right, so here we are four hours later. Let's just turn this to simmer because we want to keep it nice and kind of warm while we keep going back to this. We don't need to keep cooking this anymore. Let's, oh, look at that steam. Ho, ho, ho. Anyways, 
what we're gonna do first, because we wanna have a garnish, is we're just gonna take our orange and what we'll do is we will cut a couple of orange slices and we'll cut those in half. And the reason we're doing this now in advance is we are going to throw these directly in here, like so. Awesome. Now what you wanna do, take your ladle, you're just gonna stir this around a little bit just to give it a bit of a mix. And this is going to be fantastic. You can just tell. And we'll just pour it in like so. Oh, look at that. Fantastic, that deep, dark burgundy color, the fresh hints of citrus just on top, and you get those great earthy, spicy smells. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is so good. So spicy, so deep, so tasty, and perfect to have with your friends. What I will do is I will put the ingredients and method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. If you think I should do anything different, please leave a comment below because we really, really want to know. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic holiday in winter.